Now, who doesn't like getting something for nothing? And that's kind of what's happening when you're overclocking, whether it be your CPU, memory, video card, whatever. Let's just say you buy a CPU for 300 bucks. The default is three gigahertz and you can get four gigahertz out of it. It truly does feel like you got something for nothing, right? It makes you feel awesome. The success of as well, manually overclocking it is even better. However, let's forget about manual overclocking for a second and talk about automatically overclocking the system. Asus has this software, it's called Dual Intelligent Processors 5, and I'm very curious how it's going to perform against a manual overclock. Well, let's see. Okay, so I'm using the Asus X99-A USB 3.1 edition motherboard. For memory, I have the Corsair Vengeance LPX 2800 megahertz DDR4. And for CPU, I've got the Intel Core i7 5820. Now let's just first of all go back to the memory. I have the memory overclocked to three gigahertz, 3000 megahertz, which is great. Oh, and by the way, for cooling, I'm using a Corsair H110i GTX liquid cooler. I have the CPU overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz at a voltage of around 1.3 and that's decent. I tried a little bit higher voltage to get a higher uh, core speed. Yeah, it it worked, but I had to push too much voltage to it and it was getting a little bit hot and whatnot. So I backed it off a little bit. 4.5 is definitely the sweet spot at this particular voltage. And also remember the memory is pretty darn quick as well. So everything works here really really well and i'm happy with this particular manual overclock so i'm interested to see what the asus dual intelligent processors 5 can do now this kind of goes without saying but to download this software of course you're going to need an asus motherboard go to the particular website for your motherboard go to utilities and then scroll down go ahead and then download whichever is the current version now go ahead and run the setup file, then select the Dual Intelligent Processors 5 and install it. Now reboot. Okay, so this is the Dual Intelligent Processors 5 software. And as you can see, it is pretty darn comprehensive. It shows you pretty much everything about the computer system, including the fans, which you can tweak. You can see the CPU frequency, the voltage, the temperature, and you can do all kinds of adjustments here. But what we're really focused on is the optimization. And we want to click at the top here where it says five-way optimization. And by the way, this five-way optimization is basically integrating these five different modules, TPU, Fan Expert, DigiPlus, Turbo App, and EPU. Now, before I continue, note that I've set the system to its default speeds. Within here, you've got all kinds of options, and for the most part, you can leave everything at its default. Extreme clocking ratio only per core. The advanced ratio setting, I'm going to leave this at its default, which is the optimal ratio. But you can choose start from, you know, the CPU default ratio, start from an assigned ratio. Now, this is not checked. I'm going to check it. Enable the overclock tolerance for a higher overclock result. Why not? These are some other options that you can choose to change the target CPU voltage. That's very neat. The CPU frequency, you could limit. And as well, the temperature, let's just say you want it only to go up to like 80 C. You can do that as well. I'm going to leave everything automatic. I'm also going to enable the memory test and that's it click start and let it do its thing the system will restart a few times though and this is the result 4.1 gigahertz definitely lower than my manual overclock of 4.5 gigahertz so that's a little bit disappointing now after all the tuning when the system is idle it certainly makes it really quiet and also it will conserve power you can see it's throttling back right this is when the system is not under load when it is under load of course it's going to increase but what about you're running a program or a game and you want that particular game to be at maximum CPU speed? No problem. You can go to Turbo App, add whatever game or program you want in here and tweak it. So when you run that particular program or game, it will start the CPU at that speed. So the big question here is how come I can get 4.5 gigahertz out of the CPU when I do a manual overclock, but I can't get the same result 
using the dual intelligent processors 5 software well i believe that they are limiting the cpu voltage to around 1.27 1.28 volts and that could be the reason because i know that i need around 1.3 1.31 volts to get the cpu stable at 4.5 gigahertz so i think that's the main reason still though a little disappointing because i was expecting a little bit more from it but hey it is what it is I'm curious if you've used this dual intelligent processor software and how successful you know you are with it. Have you been able to get an amazing overclock out of the, out of your CPU using the software? Because it's really good, right? You could just load it up, click a few buttons, bam, bam, and it overclocks your system. That's it. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of it and a lot of time. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of time going into the, the BIOS and tweaking everything and restarting and then things crashing and all the rest of it. You can just run this. It overclocks your system, your memory, and your CPU speed, and that is it. However, if it's not, you know, going to overclock it to the absolute maximum, uh, then I, yeah, for me, it just, it, it just, I'm not interested to be honest. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, thumb it up, subscribe to the channel. Your comments are always welcome. And if you have a question for me, post away.